r slash ask reddit. What is a true fact so baffling, it should be false. People were deliberately infected with malaria to cure their syphilis, and the man who developed this treatment Julius Warner Jorag received the Nobel Prize for it. The extremely high fevers of the malaria infections killed the syphilis bacteria, then the patients were cured of the malaria using quinine. Quinine is the reason tonic water glows under black light. Today I learned, tonic water glows under black light. Yeah why the hell aren't we all serving gin and tonics at Halloween parties? Some of us are. The record for most children born to one mother is 69, to the wife of Fyodor Vasilyev, 1707-1782, a peasant from Shuaia, Russia. In 27 labors, she gave birth to 16 pairs of twins, 7 sets of triplets and 4 sets of quadruplets. Not sure what's more impressive, having that many children, or considering it's the 1700s, living through it. Wife name is Valentina Vasilyeva. Would be interested in how many of the kids survived too. That poor woman. Imagine being pregnant for over 20 years. If sound could travel through space, the roar of the sun would be deafening, even though it's 93 million miles away. Edit, because space is a vacuum. Sound can't travel though a vacuum. Obviously lots of other things in the universe would change, and yes, presumably other stars and planets would make noise too. We'd probably all die screaming as the earth itself imploded from the pressure of traveling so fast though a universe that wasn't a vacuum. That shit makes sound. Yup. The sun is 290 decibels. If space could carry sound it would still be 125 decibels by the time it got to earth. It'd be like a jackhammer everywhere all the time. Of course if that happened we'd probably evolve to be deaf in that audio spectrum, so we wouldn't notice. It would take sound around 14 years to reach earth. Wow so the sun could die. 8 minutes after we'd be in total darkness, but the roar of the sun would still be everywhere for 14 years. From 1613 to 1620 a samurai traveled to Rome by way of Mexico. During this time, Shakespeare was still alive, Virginia had been founded for around a decade, Galilea was accused of heresy, and Pocahontas arrived in England. He met the Pope he was made a Roman citizen. His name was Hasekura at Tsuneniga, and was the last Japanese person to officially visit Europe, until around 1860. The longest time between two twins, being born is 87 days. I see these threads a bunch, but this answer has me interested. Kilkenny, Ireland, gave birth to twins Amy Ann and Kate Mary, Katie Elliot 87 days apart, making them the twins with the longest interval between their births. The twins were born at Waterford Regional Hospital. Amy was born prematurely on the 1st of June 2012 and Kate followed on the 27th of August. Cheetahs can't roar, but they can meow like house cats. Whoa is this legit? Yes, they are cute, then scary. One day Mao Zedong saw a sparrow eating grain. Thinking that the sparrows were hurting China's grain supply, he and the communist party launched the four pests campaign. The Chinese military and population killed every sparrow they could find. Embassies didn't allow the Chinese to kill sparrows on their property, so the Chinese banged pots and pans outside the embassies 24 over 7 until the sparrows died of exhaustion. Unfortunately for the Chinese, sparrows mainly eat insects, not grain. The locust population exploded, and 43 million people starved to death. This reminds me of that guy who killed elephants, to stop the desertification of the savanna, only to have the desert spread faster. There were more planes destroyed in World War II than there are, currently intact, planes on Earth today. I mean everyone was making a shit ton of planes. A shit ton of shitty planes. Commercial airliners nowadays are pretty sick, and in terms of military planes, the dominant air force in the world is taking a quality over quantity approach, despite also having quite a few bitchy air. 
there is an extremely rare condition called stone man syndrome, it causes any smallest damage done to tissue to regrow into a bone, speaking briefly. People affected by this sickness slowly turn into living statues as they get older. Wikipedia. Surgical removal of the extra bone growths has been shown to cause the body to repair the affected area with even more bone. I'll never sleep again. Adult patients eventually have to decide on what position they wish to predominantly take for the rest of their lives. This was creepier for me. I'll take the coffin pose please. And if you could, just go ahead and throw me the duck in it because I'm done. More people died making the V2 rockets during WW2 than were killed by them. Another fun fact about V2 rockets, Germany was facing a large issue with rocket fuel shortages during the project, because people kept drinking it. The fuel was made from 70% ethyl alcohol and 30% water, distilled from potatoes. It was the most economically viable fuel at the time, since they were already very low on other fuels. To stop workers from drinking it, they denatured the alcohol, essentially poisoning it, but people kept drinking it anyways, and getting extremely ill. This simply caused people to start leaving the V2 program, suggesting that they were only in it for the free alcohol. This also means that any alcohol over 70% by volume is stronger than actual WW2 rocket fuel. Stalin Hitler, and Freud all lived in Vienna at the same time. Imagine a sitcom with the Mauler's roommates. Damn it Stalin stop eating my food. It is our food Freud. If you earned one dollar every second, it would take 2921 years to have more money than Bill Gates. It's okay, I think I'll survive earning $3600 an hour. Yeah, 31.5 million a year is fine. Giraffe seat bones. Of all the possible giraffe facts to go with, you don't go with the fact that giraffe liver and bone marrow might be a hallucinogen. No, the coolest giraffe fact is that their tongue nerve goes from their brain to their chest and then back up their throat to their tongue. Just like all mammals. Just in a giraffe that means it's going like 20 feet and causes actual tongue lag, that they can choke and die from. Cool and proof of evolution. A 500 pounds. Cigarette smoking, beer drinking brown bear named Wojtek was enlisted and served in the Polish army during WWII. Private Wojtek helped the Polish win the brutal battle of Mont Cassino, and was even promoted to corporal. Following the war, he retired in Scotland. Amazing share. I will name my firstborn son Wojtek. Wojtek is a totally normal Polish name so. Polish people will just assume he's Polish. We live many times closer to the last dinosaur than the first and last dinosaur did to each other. And Cleopatra lived closer to the first man on the moon than to the time the pyramids were built. That's a trip. The life of Frayn Selleck, the luckiest unlucky man in the world, January 1962. Frayn is riding on a train through a freezing canyon, when it fell into an icy river. All 17 other passengers died, while he escapes with a broken arm and hypothermia. 1963, on his first plane trip he was sucked out of the plane's door, and landed in a haze tack, unscathed. 19 other people were killed in the crash. 1966, he was riding in a bus, when it skidded off the road into yet another icy river. Four passengers drowned, while he only received some minor cuts and bruises. 1970, his car's engine burst into flames, while he was driving, but he managed to escape before it exploded. 1973, in yet another driving incident, his car's engine was doused with hot oil from a broken fuel pump. This caused flames to shoot through the air vents, singing off all of his hair. He was otherwise unharmed. 1995, he was hit by a bus, but only sustained minor injuries. 1996, to escape a head-on collision with a United Nations truck on a mountain curve, he swerved into a guardrail that broke on impact. To save himself, 
he jumped out of his car's open door and grabbed onto a tree branch as he watched his car plummet off the cliff. Suffice to say the guy had a complicated relationship with the Grim Reaper. He also won the lottery I think. Yup. In 2003, he won 1.1 million US dollars. In 2010 he gave the rest of his money to friends and family as he wanted to live more frugal life. Ah, casually forgetting to mention you won the lottery because your life is so eventful. If every single person on the entire planet took part in a rock paper scissors contest, where everyone paired up and played, losers were knocked out and winners stayed on, you would only have to win 33 times in a row to beat all 7.53 billion people on the planet. When Mount Everest was first measured it was exactly 29,000 feet. It was reported as 29,002 because exactly 29,000 was not believable. I'm picturing someone standing at the bottom with the tape measure and someone running all the way up with the other end. Whoever decided that was the first man to put two feet on Everest. There is no universally accepted definition of vegetable. It's a cultural and culinary term, and varies from place to place. If my son hates it, it's a vegetable. Problem solved. Oxford University predates the Aztec Empire by over 200 years. And, for fun one of my favorites, woolly mammoths were still around at the time the Great Pyramids in Giza were built. Harvard didn't teach classes in calculus when it was founded because it wasn't discovered yet. Nintendo was founded in 1889. Before video games, Nintendo ran sex hotels in Japan. If you're launching from Earth, the most difficult place to reach in the solar system is the sun. The reason for this is that to fly directly into the sun you need to first launch from Earth and then remove all of your orbital velocity around the sun. Anything less will just put you into a different orbit around the sun, rather than directly into it. The amount of power required for that to do it directly is basically impossible currently. As an alternative you could, for relatively little power, fly all the way out to Pluto distance, slow down much less, and then fall back into the sun. The trade-off being the travel time is now about 90 years. There are other in-between paths that will could get you there for different balances of energy and time but all of them are tougher than getting basically anywhere else in the solar system with an equivalent balance. There's a mission currently traveling to study the sun, the Parker Solar Probe. It won't be flying directly in, but plans to make the closest passes than any probe ever has. It's going to make 7 passes by Venus to shed speed so it can get closer and closer to the sun. The full flight time is planned as just less than 7 years. As of this post they are 1 week shy of a year in. It's pretty well known by now, but calculators today have more computing power than Apollo 11. We got to the moon with slide rulers and huge balls. To be fair, that was the guidance computer for the rocket. There was far more computing power on the ground, and it took years of human and computer calculation to actually determine how to get the rocket to the moon. They were in near constant communication with the ground, so any course changes or other issues could be computed by NASA. Switzerland has accidentally invaded Liechtenstein thrice in the last 50 years. On the first time in 1976, Swiss military got lost and ended up in Liechtenstein, so the Liechtensteiners offered them drinks like proper hosts. On the second time in 1992, Swiss military forgot that a certain observation post was actually not in Swiss territory, but in Liechtenstein territory, so they just said sorry and forgot about it. Then again in 2007, the Swiss army got lost and entered Liechtenstein, but eventually realized they weren't in Switzerland anymore, Toto, so they turned back. Liechtenstein didn't even know this happened till the Swiss apologized, again. To which they basically said, no problem, bro. Takeaways, the Swiss army are bad with directions. The Liechtenstein army people are chill brothers. According to Wikipedia, Liechtenstein doesn't have military. 
It has a police force that consists of 87 field officers and 38 civilian staff, totaling 125 employees. A morbidly obese person can survive with absolute starvation without any sickness or feeling ill, under close control. There have been studies since 60s, there is a patient in 1973 who went under a 382 day starvation diet for therapeutic purposes under close, control with only vitamin and mineral supplements, and water intake without protein, carbohydrate or fat intake, no food at all. Dropped from 207 kg to 88 kg and maintained it. After a follow up checkup 5 years later, the patient was 96 kg, stabilized. Keep in mind for anyone tempted to imitate, multiple others attempted this after him, and wound up dead. Do not try this at home. It requires very strict supervision. From what I remember a lot of deaths are from, when they start eating again. You have to start back extremely slowly. Horses can't vomit. Rats are also unable to vomit. This incidentally is why rat poison works. They have no way to rid their bodies of it before enough builds up to kill them. The Tyrannosaurus Rex lived closer in time to us than it did the Stegosaurus. Yeah. Cause it was afraid of those spikes. Even if 99% of Earth's population thought you were unattractive, 76 million people would still find you attractive. Too bad those 76 million people never see me. There are more trees on the earth than stars in the Milky Way. Every time you shuffle a deck of cards, you've probably made an entirely unique order, as compared to every other shuffle in history. You can fit every planet between the earth and moon, including all the gas giants. But if you lined up all of Jeff Bezos's money from end to end, it wouldn't fit between the earth and moon. It could go to the moon and back 34 times. Jeff Bezos has enough money to make a ladder to the moon and to make it out of money. Inches there are over 9 million variations after just 3 moves each. 288 billion different possible positions after 4 moves each. In a complete game there are more possible positions than there are electrons in the observable universe. You see your nose all the time, but your brain just ignoring it. Well not anymore, thanks. My nose is actually annoying me now. Sharks evolved before trees did. Trees evolved before the bugs responsible for rotting, that is. Bacteria which could eat lignin and cellulose. Thus when they died, they just fell over in place, and lay there instead of rotting. Over time the weight of the upper layers of tree corpses compacted the lower levels, which eventually became the coal we dig up and use today. There is a 1 in roughly 5.2 to the 61st power chance that, if you were to slap a table, all of the molecules in your hand in the table would miss each other, and your hand would go through it, 